Scientists have repeatedly warned it could be many months before we know if any of the 30 or so coronavirus vaccines currently undergoing trials are effective. But one way to speed up the process would be if so-called challenge trials are conducted where volunteers are given the vaccine and then deliberately infected with coronavirus to see if they're protected. Here's our medical editor, Fergus Walsh. The longer we go without a vaccine, the longer people will die unnecessarily. Young, healthy and determined. Sean McPartlin is 22 and studying in Oxford. He keeps fit by swimming in the Thames. I'm volunteered to be infected with the coronavirus. Sean wants to take part in a so-called challenge trial, where he'd first receive a vaccine against COVID-19 and then be deliberately infected with coronavirus to see if the vaccine protects him. My mother has a hereditary lung disorder and every day we go without a vaccine is a day that she faces a risk that she might not have to. So I want to do everything I can to help get that vaccine to her and everyone else like her uh, as quickly as possible. One, three, one, one, nine, seven. Perfect, thank you. The only way we'll know if a COVID vaccine works is if volunteers later get exposed to the virus but at the moment, that's being left entirely to chance. It could take months. Deliberately infecting volunteers could speed things up. One Day Sooner is a group campaigning for vaccine challenge trials, and it has the support of 15 Nobel Prize winners and many leading scientists. Dominic Wilkinson is an expert in medical ethics and an intensive care doctor. If you look at what's at stake, the thousands of lives that might be saved if we could get to a vaccine sooner, that there's an ethical imperative to investigate and conduct challenge studies. A safe and effective vaccine against coronavirus is probably the only way our lives, our society, the economy will return to normal. So anything that can speed up its delivery has to be worth considering. But what about the risks of challenge trials? They're hard to calculate, but for healthy volunteers in their 20s, they're probably lower than the chances of dying from donating a kidney or having your appendix removed. Oh, yeah, you got that yeah. sorted. Dr Katrina Pollock is not convinced, at least not yet. She's running the trial of Imperial College London's coronavirus vaccine. I'm not sure that it's going to necessarily accelerate development of a vaccine in the way that some people might hope. And there are certainly significant, at this point, ethical and safety considerations for doing it. We need a lot more understanding of this disease before we start thinking about these kind of studies. If coronavirus challenge studies do ever take place, volunteers would need to spend at least two weeks in quarantine at a clinical research unit. There are plenty like Sean who are ready to sign up, hoping to play their part in the search for a vaccine. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.